what's going on guys, my name is Monochrome. Uh, we're here to do a demonstration for you today. Uh, this is a uh, project I've been working on for some time now, this uh, disassembling stock ECU inside the um, H8 ECUs, which come inside the 9899BR4s. Uh, what I wanted to do tonight was uh, just sort of a demonstration of how simple it is to, to use this program to flash in your car. First off, you need to, uh, if you go to tactrix.com, it's a company out of uh, Europe, and you need to buy their uh, 2.0 cable. This is what it looks like. Uh, they have they have two versions of this cable, they have a 1.3 and a 2.0. The 1.3, unfortunately, uh, will it will work, but it's not a good idea. The 2.0 cable has a power booster built inside of it, which will amplify the 12-volt uh, source from the reflash connector to 16 volts to ensure that the ECU gets a proper flash. If you don't give the ECU that full 12 volts, you're kind of taking a risk that you're going to break your ECU. So it's very, very important that you purchase this cable. Uh, when, you, when you do purchase it, it comes with a Mitsubishi reflash connector and uh, just a little uh, stereo 10 millimeter plug plugs in the back of the cable right here, just like so. Now to your laptop, uh, the program I use is called ECU Flash, and I've been working on a definition file for, uh, uh, for the VR4. If you have the drivers installed properly, all you do is when you install the, or when you plug in the cable to the USB port, the computer will acknowledge it's there, you'll get the little icon that allow you to read from the ECU, and the cable will light up. There is uh, absolutely no rhyme or rhythm to the color LEDs inside. It's just a random thing to let you know that the thing is powered up and working. Um, now, what I'm going to do for you real quick here is I'm just going to write a tune. Um, I'm going to start with a stock tune. Uh, the name of this ID is right here. There are three versions of the uh, ROM that came on the ECU stock. There's uh, 004, 005, and 006. Uh, 006 is the newest version. It was the one that we decided to disassemble. Uh, to be honest with you, there doesn't really seem to be any difference between the other two aside from a few bits. So, I mean, it'd be very easy to write a, a definition or a disassembly file for uh, the other two versions. Uh, what, we're, what we're looking at here is these are all the tables in the ECU so far that we've found. Um, the only ones we need to modify are uh, to get the vehicle going. I'm currently running stock Evo fuel injectors, 560, 560cc fuel injectors, and I'm also running a stock Evo uh, map sensor. So what we need to do is we need to change the tables in the ECU for the fuel injectors and for the map sensor, and this is fairly easy. Uh, you come down here to the, to the injector scaling and the injector battery voltage. Okay, what this is, is quite literally, these cars have 360cc fuel injectors. Very simple. All you do is you plug in the exact size fuel injector that you have. This is the uh, voltage uh, latency. What, it, what uh, latency is, is it's the delay time between when the ECU physically says, okay, fuel injector open, and then the uh, amount of time before it actually does open. Uh, this, as a fuel injector uh, gets larger, it's going to have a larger dead time. So, uh, I just so happen to have. Oh, yeah, I just so happen to have a definition file from a stock uh, Evo, and the injector size and injector latency. And it's actually kind of scary because they're exactly identical. Access isn't everything. So all I'm going to do, quite literally, is. Uh, I'm going to copy the latency values and paste them in there. Simple. Just like Excel. Highlight the cells, copy, paste. Now you'll notice that uh, the Evo uh, uses a different scaling. You'll see it says 513 instead of 560. This is because the scaling that uh, the guys came up with, we found out was actually a little inaccurate. And they did actually come up with a, a much more accurate scaling. But people were so used to using the scaling that nobody ever changed from it. So Ignoring that, we know that they're 560cc fuel injectors. I'm using the newer scaling that's more correct. So all you do is you hit the equals key, and then you type in 560 for the fuel injector size. Now, okay, you'll notice that it says 565 instead of 560. Don't worry about that. The reason that happens is, think of ECU flash as nothing more than a glorified translator. It translates hexadecimal code into information that you and I can understand. 
Uh, the, real, the reason why it changed to 565 instead of 560 is because whatever heximal decimal value that is in the ECU, using the, the new scaling, the, the math doesn't quite come to 560. I wouldn't lose any sleep over that whatsoever. 560s are what it at, plug it in, if that's what it comes up with, go for it. The next thing I need is the mass airflow sensor. There are four tables for the mass airflow sensor. Uh, actually, I need to go to the 3000 VT ROM. There's the size of the mass airflow sensor. There is something called an adder value, which is just an offset in the code. And then there's two other tables. One is a scaling and one is a smoothing table. Neither, neither one of these tables we really need to worry about. These are nothing more than just calibrations. Since I'm running, as you can see, the stock intake tubes, stock intercooler pipes and all that jazz, there's no reason for me to change these. Uh, in fact, even when you first start the car, there's, it's going to take some time for the fuel trims to adjust. So e even, even when you put in aftermarket intercoolers and stuff like aftermarket intercooler pipes, uh, aftermarket intake pipes, the, the changes that you, you, need, you will need to make to these are very, very minor. So I'm not even going to really worry about these right now. So what I need are from the Evo, uh, they named them different. One is the offset which is right there, and then the other is the size, which is right here. Now, we all know that the Evo airflow sensor flows a lot more air than a stock 3000 GT. Uh, the 3000 GT seems to be limited to about 425, 450 horsepower in that range. The purpose of me going to a Evo mass airflow sensor is because well, nobody's really found the limit to what it can count. Uh, I know Mellon was running somewhere in the vicinity of 700 wheel horsepower with this stock Evo MAF. It actually got to the point where the turbos were sucking the MAF into the intake tubes. So I don't see myself seeing 700 wheel horsepower anytime soon, but I do see myself running more than uh, 425 horsepower. So that was the purpose of swapping in the Evo MAF. So I'm just going to change these two values, put them in the ECU, and that is it. I can take this tune right now, flash it to my car, and it will run. All right, if, you, uh, if you're sitting in the driver's seat of your car, uh, down by where your uh, right knee is, is the OBD2 connector. That, uh, and then right behind it, facing like this, is the reflash connector. You notice that both connectors have a notch in it. That means both the notches face towards you. There, it's physically impossible to plug the cables in backwards, so you don't need to worry about that. And they should just go right in fairly effortlessly. These are very quality built parts. I've, you can practically do it without looking. And match that up there. That one's in. Match this one up back here. Laptop with our tune. Plug in the USB. And then you turn your ignition to on. You don't need to start the car, just turn the ignition on. You come up here to the red arrow, say right to ECU. It will come up with a little uh, pop up. Say OK. And it will sit here and write this to the ECU. Sometimes it takes a minute, depending on uh, the speed of your laptop. If for some reason you have problems connecting, uh, and it does happen, usually that is because your battery is low. Uh, there's a couple things you can do about that. One is you can uh, take a uh, battery charger and actually jump start the car. Or two, if the car is, you can actually flash the car while it's running. It'll just kill the engine. You're not going to damage anything. I mean, it sounds kind of uncomfortable. I've done it a few times, but in this particular case, my car is not going to run with this uh, uh, Evo fuel injectors in the, with the stock tune, so that wasn't going to work. And then. Eat your heart out, AEM. <laughs> doesn't get any simpler than that.